And we're back. Goon Prison 18. And we're joining around late as the medical doctor. Fake mustaches all around to gibber. So you know, something exciting has got to be happening. Someone who looks like they might be the head of personnel, just lying on the floor. Well, I can't give them mouth to mouth when I have a mustache, apparently. Although chances are this guy is dead anyway. He doesn't have anything good on him either, which is disappointing. Um, but you know what? I'm not a heartless bastard. Let's drag him to genetics. Maybe it still exists. Oh man, even more mustaches. Kind of wonder if that means someone actually got one of those syndicate crates, which are just a bunch of random items. It's supposed to be between 15 to 20 telecrystals worth. So it might be worth it, or it might be 20 to 15 fake mustaches. Um, do we have any? No. We have everything but the crowbar. Oh. Some, did someone let me in? Well, this is still working, so let's give the head of personnel a clone. I mean, I think he's their head of personnel. We have no real way of knowing. And we clone him. I guess that's not totally true. We could check. Let's... If we take him out of the scanner... Because he did have his PDA on him. Oh, did that say... Unable to initiate cloning cycle? Okay. Um... Martin Lavish is his name. Okay, yeah, it's unable. He has nothing on him except his suit and his PDA. Well, his PDA might be useful. Who's this guy? It's a little Meatloaf. Meatloaf the monkey. What do you have in his pockets? He had something. It looks like a water bottle. And a water bottle. <laughs> Just a water bottle. <laughs> nothing else. I wonder if this is still fresh. That's a good question. Well, it's not his PDA itself that's useful. But it's this little thing here. Easy record. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's keep his PDA itself. Keep it handy. Um, so, being the medical doctors that we are, Let's load up on some useful stuff. Actually, we need to get out of here. Who's the benevolent being that led us in here in the first place? I'm guessing it was the AI. It just happened to be passing over. Is he going to let me out? Hmm. This could be problematic. Um, the equipment power is still on, so I can't force the door door open. Um, would be handy to just have the crowbar. Is there already a crowbar in here? Yeah, there is. I'll just hang on to this one extra. Can I go in here? No, that's genetics access as well. Hmm. Well. We do have the toolbox here. Which is handy. Because having a toolbox means... We've got a screwdriver and the crowbar. And I don't know if this grill is electrified. Let's find out. We remove the wall, or window rather, with a screwdriver, crowbar, screwdriver. Then we push it out of the way. Doesn't matter what direction. Let's get wire cutters. Now let's see if this kills us. Oh, 
Not quite. It's still alive. No big deal. Might be down here for a little while. Ow. <laughs> this guy, he has a utility belt. He might be able to help me get out. And it looks like he's got insulated gloves as well. Hmm. Oh, he's just an electrician, isn't he? That's probably what he meant by scan cloning. <laughs> See, what is he doing? Or is he not talking to me? Oh well, whatever. Let's get our crowbar. This guy isn't, he's not being incredibly useful. That's, that's fine. Um, did he just pry it back in? Uh, let's try and move it. Yeah, we're able to move it. Okay, cool. Good enough for me. We have, we still have our crowbar in there. Okay. Thanks for your help, I guess. <laughs> You'll figure things out. Now, oh, nobody's taken the Port of Midbay remote. That is quite handy to have. It's helped me out in a pinch in a few different times. Same thing with the Port of Brig. For mostly the same reason. Oh, we have another gibber here. Right here in the Midbay. Medbay entrance, no less. So it's publicly publicly accessible. Um, okay, good. I was thinking he looked like he was gonna put him in the gibber, but no, apparently not. Well, okay. You know what? We need more medicine than this. We need we need something. We need tricord or bicaridine or something handy. Something much more useful than just a regular med kit. And there's... Okay, excellent. There's a like hypo spray there. And... We can... Well, let's put the crowbar in my backpack. Get antitoxin, inoprovaline... And dump them both into the hypostate. That guy kind of rushed up on me. Made me a little worried there. <laughs> uh, wait. Curry. Woody Curry, that's my name. I don't know. Oh, because I got damage from the electric grill. So, there. Give myself a little bit of tricord. And that way it's, it's ready for the next person. I'm not even actually sure if there is a proper way to get rid of floors. I know you can take off the floor tile with a crowbar, but I don't know what you do with the subfloor. Maybe you can weld that? Use a welder to cut it off? I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, you can use a welder to cut off like the lattice parts here, which is supposed to be what's underneath the subfloor. And then it's just
plain space right there. What is this? A piece of paper on top of some, some, some meat. What does it say on the paper? Nothing. I do that all the time. I see a piece of paper just sitting there. And I think maybe somebody left something, left a note or something. And then it turns out to just be blank. And I was like, well, I'm just wasting my time. So this is research. I'm not really going in here for any particular reason. Just making up names at this point. Oh, this is a dimensional fissure. Hmm, I'm probably really poorly equipped to go in there. I can do that? Well, actually, okay, that's a regular window. Shoot, maybe I should have brought the, those tools with me. Devil. Seems like a friendly character. Friend lords. Well, let's see if we can smash our way in here. <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, that's what, got a whole breach over there, too. Going in here might not be the best idea. I'm going to go in the thing. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go in the dimensional fissure, too. Why not? They needed they need medical officers over there, wherever over there is. Hmm, gasps. You know what? I don't really need this mustache. What I could use is a breath mask, just in case. I think on the other side, you are able to breathe air like normal, but I'm not going to take any chances. Why would you? Is that regular air? Yeah, that's air. Okay, so I don't want to lower the pressure. Uh, whoa. And that is the sonorous sounds of the other dimension, I guess. I don't know. It's actually quite loud. <laughs> Sorry, this will just be a small interruption. Okay, much better. Um... Okay, doors are opening. Skeleton on the floor. Screwdriver. Heck, why not? Just in case. I don't know. If, I don't know if we need one, but an RCD blueprint, eh? 
Oh, what? Transpose scientist. Oh, oh no, this isn't. That's not. Oh no, he's got me stuck. It burns. Okay, I'm attacking him with the screwdriver. I think. I... What? Oh. Disappeared or something. Um, okay. Take a little shot. Tricord. Hmm. Shoot, I left my box at the telescience room. Do I have room for that in here? Uh, let's take a burning patch. No. It's kind of laggy all of a sudden. Let's take this blueprint, put it in the med kit. Hmm. Let's try that again. Someone was just, just saying the same thing I was. Which is something that happens on Mentor Help. But anyway. There's a girder? What's beyond that girder? Um, yeah, some weird visual lag is happening. Okay. What's out here? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing! Is that... That looks like a normal wall. Makes me suspicious. If I brought a welder, I'd cut through that. But whatever. Hmm. Okay. This... It's not really much to see here. Let's fix that. Turn on the PDA on, or the light on one PDA. Then we turn on Martin's PDA light. No, I'm Martin. What? Oh. Yeah, that's weird. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay. It's a little disconcerting. I guess exploring around here. Whoa. Shit. Um, okay. Let's try this. Ah. Actually killing him? Or maybe that's the thing. You don't really kill them, they just kind of fade away. Well, I'm not harmed or anything, so... Capacitor? Is there electrical stuff? What kind of... I guess this is like an electrician's room. Interesting. <laughs> I say, is anyone hurt? He says, yeah, probably. See, being out here, you don't suffer... Oh, crap. Okay, there's a transpose particle field. That's, that's the goddamn science ghost that you need to watch out for. I want to go north, so let's go down here. There's a regular ghost, or a phantasm, or whatever. Oh man, okay. That's not good. 
Oh, now there's a scientist following me, too. Not a actual scientist, but... Oh, crap. Can we get in here? Are they still following us? I don't know. At a certain point, you can't really see them. you. Why not? Just following the devil. Doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. Uh, you know what? Since we're following you, we should... What? Whoa. Now we're, we're spit back out onto the station Z level, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even get to... I, I was just about to... I was just about to check the devil to see if he needed any healing. Anyway, not much of a video, but hey, it's a little amusing. And for some reason we still get the... The, the void ambience, so that's kind of a bonus. Shuttle's on its ways now. On, on its way now. C-E? Is that what that says? <laughs> that is a nice thing about having an e-sword. You don't need to use anything special to break through windows, you just smash right through. It's a bit noisy, but it does the job. <laughs> hmm. So AI is officially dead. He's, he's not coming back. Airbridge is down. People might not even really realize that the AI is dead. I haven't been paying a close enough attention, so... The AI didn't die by himself, so someone must know. What is this guy doing? Who's he shooting at? Is he able to see me? He is, too. <laughs> what? Well, he probably has thermals, so he can still see me here. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> he shot the ectoplasm right out of me. I'm like, I'm double dead or something. What? I've never... This has never happened to me before. Oh, he's still shooting at me. I'm dropping... I'm just dropping ecto... Oh no, he threw that at me. Can I pick it up? Can I drag it? No, I can't drag it. I don't think I can interact with it at all. Hmm. I can't drag it on myself, I don't think. <laughs> what? Wow. I... I don't even know. <laughs> I... Okay. I'm just getting weirded out by this. It must be... I knew that weird things would happen if you went 
turned into a ghost in the void, but I thought it was only if you were caught by one of the monsters there, not just randomly exploding, which is kind of what happened to me. Robot ghost? Okay, so he the detective can see Cyborg Omega there, too. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> the detective's in trouble! <laughs> oh no! He's getting away. He lost his gun though. Well, his, he lost his revolver. He probably still has his taser. Looks like he has something on his belt anyway. <laughs> I think for now we're just kind of taunting the detective while he's being chased by a man-eater. <laughs> Poor Lemmy. <laughs> He's still going at it. Nope. Nope. Looks like the manager's taking control of the situation. Oh, no, they got him. He died. Okay. <laughs> the man eater ate the revolver. I don't think that's quite what happened. I bet Mel just kind of snuck it into his backpack when Lemmy wasn't looking. <laughs> I've lost my ectoplasm. I feel naked, even as a ghost. T. Henry Shepard and Hugh Justic. I guess he must have died in the gibber and just logged off, maybe. Or he's just... Just hanging out in dead chat, not paying attention to his ghost. <laughs> I can't... I can't interact with people or anything, but... I wonder... Is it possible for me to go back into the fissure? Let's try to find out. Probably wouldn't work, but I've never been in this sort of situation before, so I gotta try it out at least once. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. That's kind of what I figured. <laughs> hmm. Shuttle is almost here. Apparently there's nitrogen being released. Or had been released. This is kind of... I don't know. This is an area where there's a, there's a lot of room for atmosphere, so I'm not even sure if a whole nitrogen canister is enough to affect the air in a really bad way. Hmm. Escape is in pretty bad shape. If it's leaking regular air mix out this way, then maybe a regular nitrogen canister is enough to kind of mess things up, but... Hard to say. <laughs> Big spatial tear. <laughs> Cutting off with the poor Q um, qu quartermasters. He figured it out. <laughs> and here's the engine, looking about as miserable as ever. Circulator's going full bore, but there's still kind of angry purple lights and angry purple noises. I mean, yeah, sure, purple noises. That's what we'll call them. They're not quite roars. Oh! What? 
What? Okay. So that sudden stop was lag from the imminent explosion. <laughs> Even that little mushroom cloud icon. Just to let you know that the engine is currently exploding. <laughs> now it's all burnt up in here. Well, it's probably about to happen all over again. Okay. I guess maybe it doesn't explode every time. <laughs> the angry skull icon. Not sure which is the worst indicator. What would you rather see? An icon of a mushroom cloud or an icon of a horned skull showing up on your your thermal engine? shuttle's here. I'm gonna go to the shuttle, just to see if anything funky happens at the last second. It's starting to seem like, and I, I haven't, I haven't died on mining, so I can't confirm this yet, but it seems like if you're on a Z level, any Z level other than the stations, it'll just basically teleport your ghost to the station Z level if you try to move. If you go into ghost mode and just don't move around, then you can still see what's going on on the whichever Z level that you died on. But if you move at all, then you get teleported. That's what it seems like, anyway. I know that's true for... It's true for the Ice Moon, and it's true for the Void. It's probably true for the um, Bio... Biodome. I'm not sure if it's true for mining. That's the only thing. Oh man, people are getting excited. Getting ready to launch the shuttle early, I hope maybe. It's not very many survivors. Oh, there they go. Is anyone gonna tr try to make it to the escape at the last second? There's what's his name? The guy who was trying to help me break out of genetics. And this guy... They have time. They shortened it to 60 seconds, but I think when they did that, it was still only like a minute and a half left anyway, so... Not a huge difference, but enough to mess somebody up, maybe. Hmm. Poor Trinidad. Almost made it. And he passed out on the floor. On the on his way to the escape shuttle. It's like four meters away from the entrance. I don't know if each floor tile actually represents one meter, but it looks like they should. I like to think they should, anyway. There's also a trader electrician. They used it on us. Okay. What was the AI's laws? Only Chef Butts is human. Oh, okay. That was the only human law. What was my name doing there? <laughs> I don't even remember what my objectives were. Maybe something to do with uh, cryotubes that somebody else already took care of. How is the board moving without legs? Uh, good round. You want to put a banging donk on it? <laughs>